Hello, this is Jay with Gotcha Security. In this video, I'm going to go over the live view portion of Smart PSS. If you're viewing cameras in real time, such as a monitor or a TV on the wall, or have a security team viewing the cameras, this will be done in live view. To open live view, go to the icon, left click, and the live view screen will open. I'll briefly go over the different portions of live view, then come back and explain them in more depth. In the main area, we have our viewing tiles. Currently, we have a two by two view. That means two across and two down. On the left side, we have organizations, view, and PTZ. Under organizations, there is a tree that lists all of the recorders that have been added to Smart PSS. You can have access to recorders that are on your local network or in another location and connected to the internet. If you need help adding recorders, please watch the video labeled Smart PSS Adding Devices or contact us. Under View, you will find a list of customized views that allows you to bring up a group of cameras quickly. I will show you how to make views further in the video. PTZ allows you to control the selected PTZ camera. Many of our clients do not have PTZ cameras, so I will not cover this feature in this video. If you have a PTZ and need assistance, please contact us. In the lower left corner, we have a save icon. This allows you to save the current view or layout of cameras. In the bottom right corner, we have the option to change how the tiles display. Let's go back to organizations and view our recorders. We have a recorder named Sample A and Sample B. These recorders are typically labeled by the location such as community or business name. If I click the arrow next to the first recorder, I open the tree and I can see all the cameras listed under that recorder. I'll go ahead and open the tree on the second recorder and now I can see the cameras that are installed on that recorder as well. To view a camera in a tile, simply left click, drag, and drop the camera. I can also drag and drop cameras from a different recorder and put them into the same view. This allows you to display high priority cameras such as a pool area and entrances while not using the viewing area for low priority areas or private areas such as the maintenance shop. To enlarge a camera view, double click the camera and it will go full screen. If you want to go back to the previous display, double click the camera again and we go back to the previous display. To close all videos, right click, select close all videos, select OK, and that will close all of our videos. Now if we want to view all cameras from the same recorder, we can grab the actual recorder, drag, drop it, and now all of the cameras on that recorder will populate all the tiles. If the cameras are being viewed on a TV or a monitor in a public viewing area, such as a leasing office, you may want to take the cameras into full screen so that you're not seeing any elements of the software. Go down to the bottom right corner, click full screen, and now the cameras will take up the entire view. If you want to go back to your software layout, simply press escape on your keyboard and you can go back to the software view. We're going to go ahead and close all the videos for now. As I mentioned earlier, this is the 2x2 two two view and only has four tiles on the screen. If I go to the bottom right corner, I can choose from various layouts. I can choose from 2x2, two two, which is four cameras, 3x3, three three, which is nine cameras, or 4x4, four four, which is 16 cameras. I can also click on the edit icon to choose from other options, such as six cameras or eight cameras. If you have a camera that's a high priority, you can use the six or eight camera view to place a single camera in a larger view and the remaining cameras around the edge. I'll choose the eight camera view and we'll place our pool camera in the larger tile. I'll choose the eight camera layout, go to our tree, select the pool area camera and drag it and drop it into our large tile. I can then drag other cameras and put them on the edge.
if you want to swap cameras on the fly, if you want a larger view of maybe let's say the call box, we can drag the call box over and it will automatically switch places with the pool area. And if we want to go back, we can just drag the pool area back over and reverse what we did. When selecting a layout, we suggest you do not display more than 16 cameras at a time unless the PC has been designed to do this. Your PC may not be able to handle viewing that many cameras at once. If you want to change views frequently, but do not want to have to drag the cameras into the tiles all the time, you can save each customized view. Once you have your view set up, go to the lower left corner, select the save icon, and then use a descriptive name in the view name. For this, I'm going to use test2. Leave everything else the same, select OK, and now our view is saved. I'm going to close all the videos so that I can start off from a blank screen. Then I'm going to go to view. I'm going to double click the default group and then I'm going to double click test two and you'll see that that brings up the view that I just saved. I also created a, another view prior to this video and I'm going to go ahead and double click test one and you'll see that it brings up that view that I had saved earlier. Views can be put into a rotation schedule so that each view is automatically displayed for a predetermined time. This is helpful if you have many cameras that you want to see a larger image of. If you want to enable this feature, please contact us as this does require more advanced configuration. If you're running live view on a workstation that is not dedicated for the cameras, such as your laptop or computer you use for daily work, we suggest you close all videos when not in use. This will free up the resources on that PC. We also suggest closing all videos before going to playback, which is covered in another video. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, please contact our office at 678-430-3116. Visit our website at gotchasecurity.net or email us at support at gotchasecurity.net.